Hey, it's Steve Smith with WorshipIdeas.com, and I'm at Brookwood Church, and uh, I want to give you a quick behind-the-scenes tour of what we're doing. Uh, as you know, if you look at Brookwood Church's website, we have a worship choir that sings with us, and right now we're in the process of getting ready to do some background vocals that will be used for two purposes. The first purpose is used for those of, that show up on Wednesday nights to be able to take a rehearsal CD home with them that all the parts will be mixed so they can hear it. So if you're singing alto, your alto part will be mixed. If you're singing soprano, your soprano part will be mixed where you can hear it. And if you're singing a tenor, baritone, slash bass part, that part will also be mixed into your CD. So if you're driving down the road or you transfer it to your iPod, you're able to listen to the parts. We also will use those same tracks on Sunday morning worship we use it for the live sound reinforcement so that our choir can hear themselves coming back through the monitor, which gives us a full sound. And then for post-production, at the end of it, when Adam is mixing, and this is Adam Fisher over here, I'm sure you've seen him on Worship Ideas as well, playing guitar. Adam's our creative associate here, does a lot of different things. Uh, he will take that particular track that we're recording tonight and weave that in with the live sound, which gives us a really full controlled sound for our DVDs that are sold and also for our websites. Tonight, one of the cool things we're doing is a new hymn arrangement, Crown Him With Many Crowns, which Don Chapman from HymnCharts.com has taken, and really put a nice contemporary spin to this. I think you're going to love it. Adam did a really cool thing for with the acoustic guitars, and I want to encourage you to get that. It will work well as a worship song. It will also work well with your choir or a small ensemble as well. Uh, we're also doing He Hideth My Soul, and that arrangement is also ready. So on, the, I forgot the exact date, but sometime in October, We'll be singing this and leading in worship. You'll be able to check it out at Brookwood Church's website, get a real sense and feel for how it comes across live. But I want to encourage you to use these hymns in the form that Don has put them in, and I promise you, your church will love it, your choir will love singing it, as well as your band will be encouraged and challenged by the parts that Adam has arranged along with Don to help raise that bar for your musicians.